Like a choppy sea, motorcycle and scooter vibrations can be annoying and potentially dangerous. While some vibration is inevitable, understanding the sources of vibration and how to minimize them can make your ride more comfortable and safer. In this video, we'll discuss the causes of scooter and motorcycle vibration and offer tips for overcoming them. Let's get started. The main causes of scooter vibrations are the engine's inertial imbalance forces, combustion forces, and road undulations, the toggle link system, the engine's resilient mounts, and the frame's shock-absorbing suspension all help to reduce vibrations generated by road undulations. Common problems that lead to a vibrating scooter. There are things that may be causing your scooter to vibrate more than it should. Here are a few of the most common. Front engine mounting nuts are loose. One of the potential reasons for vibration in a scooter is loose nuts on the front engine mounts. The nuts attach the engine to the frame, allowing some give when it vibrates along its axis. If they are allowed to become too loose or fall off, then this can cause problems. The rubber mount has failed. Often there is a piece of rubber between the engine and the frame that absorbs some of the vibration caused by the engine. If this mount fails, then it can cause issues with vibrations. Engine transmission isn't properly aligned. If the engine is out of alignment with the transmission, then this could be causing problems. These parts need to be able to function smoothly if there's any hope of getting rid of vibration. There's an issue with the flywheel. A failing flywheel can affect how the engine vibrates and make it more difficult for the throttle to work as needed. This, in turn, can cause more problems than you'd expect. There will be some broken frames. Some of those who ride scooters might consider replacing their frame if their scooter is vibrating excessively. You should know that this isn't always the best choice, as you could end up buying a new frame for no good reason. It's possible that the wheels or tires have been damaged. The wheels and tires will need to be inspected if there seems to be an issue with vibration. For example, if the tires are worn down to the point where they need replacing, then this could cause problems. Lack of proper maintenance. Another part of scooter maintenance that can contribute to vibration is ensuring that you properly adjust and lubricate all bearings within the engine. If these parts fail, then there's a good chance that your scooter will start vibrating. Does the vibration affect my scooter in a bad way? Sometimes, the vibration from your scooter isn't a big deal. In other situations, there can be more problems that you'll need to take care of. There are a few scooter issues that might stem from this kind of vibration. The engine can fail prematurely. It will be harder for you to get things done on time. If you're riding at higher speeds, then it might be harder to keep your balance. The scooter can simply not work as intended. You may have some issues with the throttle sticking or becoming difficult to use, and it's also possible that the whole engine could break loose from your scooter if you don't take care of this issue in time. This means that sometimes the vibrations may mean that there is an underlying issue, so you should try and do something about it as soon as possible. How do I stop the scooter from vibrating? So let's say there are no underlying issues with your scooter. There are some things you can try and do to reduce the vibrations of your scooter. For example, you might Replace the tires and wheels. The bolt and screws on your scooter are tightened up. Adjust the idle speed if needed. Check what kinds of speeds your engine is working at. Inspect the flywheel for damage and wear. Preheat your vehicle. And use kick starters. Replace the tires and wheel. If the tires are worn down, then there's a good chance that this could be causing some problems. The same can be said for the wheels themselves, since they should align properly with the tires if they aren't too far gone. 1 bolt and screws on your scooter are tightened up. Then you'll need to make sure all of the bolts are tightened up so they don't have too much wiggle room. The same can be said for screws, as these might come loose over time and cause some problems if they aren't properly taken care of. 2. Adjust the idle speed if needed. The idle speed needs to be set up properly. If this isn't done correctly, then it's possible that you will end up with problems related to the throttle and how it functions. 3. Check what kinds of speeds your engine is working at. Your engine should be able to provide a set number of RPMs with ease, but this might not happen if there's some kind of issue with how fast or slow it turns. That's why you should check the maximum horsepower that it can provide. 4. Inspect the flywheel for damage and wear. The flywheel will make sure your scooter starts off properly, but it needs to be taken care of if you want to avoid problems down the road. For example, if there is excess play in the bearings or other components, then this could make the flywheel break down. 5. Preheat your vehicle. Another solution you can try out is to use a preheater. This device will make it easier for the temperature of your scooter to increase, allowing for overall better performance throughout the day. 
You can usually find one of these devices at your local dealership. And the last one is to use Kickstarter. If you're having issues with the electric starter on your scooter, then you might want to consider using the Kickstarter instead. Once this device is used, then it will usually be a lot easier for everything else to function properly and hopefully reduce the vibrations of your vehicle as well. My final thoughts. Scooter vibrations can be something that you need to take care of if you want to get the most out of your vehicle. These tips should help ensure that this won't be a problem moving forward, allowing for an overall better ride in general. Just remember that it might take some time before you find out what is causing these problems, but once you do then it should be a lot easier to get rid of these vibrations completely.